Hey everyone at home there, I'm Nick Granger. Thanks for tuning in. We've got Ash with me this morning. We're going to run you through our stretch session. So some dynamic uh, stretches. Um, I've been observing the way that I stretch and in particular my husband stretches. Um, he's a very super inflexible human, God bless him. Uh, and I've watched him do these stretches and they're, they're quite static. And so I feel like uh, a stretch should be um, lengthening the muscle, but also uh, moving it in a range as well. So we're going to do some things today that may feel a little bit funky in your body, but trust me, your body will thank you for them. <laughs> we're going to begin in child's pose, which is a great stretch. Um, uh, the lower back in particular, if you do a lot of running or you've been out for a super big long walk, this always feels amazing for the muscles in your inner thighs, your lower back as well, and then right up through your side body. So you'll take, uh, you know, look, I'm, I count in breath or count in my head. So I'd like you to sort of try and think about about 20 seconds in each stretch and then you can do them as many times as you feel you need to. So you could run through it and then come back again, yeah? So then uh, I'll get Ash to come up onto all fours and we'll switch this up. So you're gonna tuck your toes under now. You can do this in bare feet or with shoes on. Your toes are tucked under and you're gonna suck your belly up like someone's punched you in the stomach and tuck your tailbone right under. And then you push your bottom back onto your heels. And then you'll get this big stretch of the fascia and tuck your chin right under so your fascia is this um, like a fuzz that sits over the top of your muscles and if you don't move the fascia all the time it gets real stiff think of it as like fairy floss but you want it to get nice and um, pliable rather than all stiff yeah so just a little bit more longer there Ash can you feel that in your back can do Cool, and then we'll come up uh, onto all fours. So I'll get us to turn around and face you. We call this one gate pose in yoga. So you're up on your right knee and you're on your right knee, Ash. Knee down, no, other knee, other right knee, this knee. <laughs> yeah, and left leg out to the side. So like this. Can you see how the foot is flat and the knee's directly underneath the hip there? Yeah, good. Now hands walk forward in front of you and you're gonna push your bottom back. Push your bum way, way back. And see if you can even out your hips. So Ash, more think about your left hip. Yeah, there you go. So your pelvis is nice and even and you keep pushing your bottom back and you should feel a stretch in the inner seam of that straight leg. And you'll just hold that. So remember, you're going to count for 20 or take some breaths, but really important that you do breathe while you stretch. You hold your breath, your body thinks something's going to happen to it. So you want to uh, breathe nice and deeply through the stretches. Good one. And then walk your hands back in, Ash, and left hand on left leg for me. So seat yourself all the way up and then reach your right arm up high to the sky and then take right arm over the top, yeah? And then try and maybe lift your right ear up towards your right arm a little bit more. So I sort of feel like I need, yeah, cool. And you just take a couple of breaths there. Think about lengthening the left side waist as well as lengthening the right side waist. Cool, and maybe just two more breaths, yeah? So you just wanna feel the stretch and work into it. Don't go too deep, too quick. Have somewhere to go, yeah? Think more journey rather than destination as you stretch. Cool, and then come back up into the center and switch over side. So left knee down, right leg out to the side. Try and get that right foot pointing forward. Nice, and then hands down on the floor and gently push your bottom back, but think about you know squaring off your pelvis a little bit. Beautiful, draw the belly in a little to support the internal organs. <sighs> and you'll breathe. If you want some little background music for while you stretch, um, I'm a big fan of SBS Chill at the moment. I just pop it on the telly, um, play it through my Bose speaker and you just get this amazing range of music, stuff you'd never ever listen to. And sometimes you can catch it on Spotify and go down rabbit warrens. I'm just loving the rabbit warrens at the moment of Spotify. Cool, come back in Ash for me, lift up, and then right hand down onto right leg, good, left arm up and take that side bend again. Tighter on this side, yes? <laughs> Uh, the other cool um, music selection um, on Spotify, uh, Moby has uh, two cool um, playlists. They're called Long Ambient Calm. And it's just this really cool background music. I'm really enjoying listening to that when I do stretching or yoga at the moment as well. 
Good one. Come back in, Ash. All right, hands down. Uh, you can face whichever way you like now, top end of the mat, and we're going to take a lizard lunge. So step your right foot, hands down, yeah, right foot, but step the foot outside of the hand, so you're wide. Can you see how Ash did that? So the leg is out a little bit wider, and I call these Beyonce hips, right? So she's going to make circles with her hips, nice and big and slow. Get your bum back a little bit more for me, Ash. Back and down, yeah. So here's the stretch with some mobility as well. So you're working through a different range rather than the stretch being static. You want to get some mobility and some movement, you know, uh, gets the uh, synovial fluid in the joints moving as well. Cool. And then you hold there. Nice. And the hips drop. And we'll just change to the other side. So left leg forward now. Yeah, cool. So the foot turns out in an angle so the knee can drop away just a little. And we'll make those big Beyonce circles. So going one way. And just notice any sticky little places, yeah? It's always important to observe, pay attention. You find a sticky spot and you, oh, okay. And then we'll go the other way. So it's just simply observing where, you, where you're kind of stuck in your range of movement. Nice, one more big circle. Great, and then we're gonna grab that back leg. So if you can, you're gonna try for your opposite hand, yeah? So mm, left hand reaches back. So you could remember, use your little strap or your towel and you hook it around the foot and pull in. So you hook, hang on and use that as your lever. Good, couple more breaths, chest lifts up. Beautiful, sink the hips forward if you've got the range. If you don't, then stay back, that's absolutely fine. And just notice if you're really uh, gritting your teeth and all those sorts of things as you stretch, try and avoid that. Yeah, don't get to that pain point all the time. Pain is not an indicator that things are, are going well in your body. Nice, and one more breath. Excellent, let that one go. So now we're gonna move into hamstrings. Everyone's generally their tight point, <laughs> their pressure point, pain point, shall we say. So we're gonna work, uh, tuck the back toe under for me, Ash there, yeah, good. And we're gonna work to straighten the front leg as much as we can. So the bottom goes back, but don't touch it down onto the heel, yeah? People quite often do that. I like to keep the butt up a little bit. But then if the leg's straight or bent, doesn't matter, toes pull up and back. Yeah, so you want to catch that the stretch from right underneath your heel. Then think about your beautiful juicy butt creases. Can you lift them up and take them back a little bit more? And then keep pulling that front toe up, yeah? Now tuck your chin under just a little and we'll catch back into that fascia again. So you'll just stay and breathe a couple of breaths. We're going to move this dynamically. And then Ash is going to push her body weight forward onto the front leg, lift her back knee up and straighten the front leg. Push the front toes down. Yeah, good. And you could look forward if that felt good or start to bow forward over the front leg. No, that would just depend on your range. Good. Just a couple more breaths and we're going to kind of move through this a little bit quicker. Nice. So back knee down now. Front leg straightens, toes pull up and back, butt creases back, remember? Nice, one more breath, and then go for it. Swing it forward, lift up, and pull all the way back. Now try and square your hips here. Yeah, that's it, that's it. And you'll catch probably the outer side um, of your uh, ITB band a little bit as well, if you can do that well. Nice, and then back knee down, and we'll change over legs. Huh. <laughs> if you get sweaty as you stretch, that's good. Yeah, it's a good sign. So toes up and back. And just notice those subtle differences from side to side in your body. Your dominant side will generally be a little bit stiffer, a little bit tighter, a bit more resistant than the other side. Good. This side looks much better for Ash, actually. Cool. And then coming forward and you'll move into that pyramid shape. Nice. And then pull the outer right hip back. There you go. Pull the belly up. And you can bow forward if you like or stay upright on your fingers. Uh, if you're a little bit inflexible and you're finding this hard, if you have yoga blocks at home, you can use those underneath each hand. Or my husband started with cans of food, like cans of soup, his hands on cans, because he couldn't get his hands anywhere near the floor, God bless. All right, now let's move dynamically. Yeah, toes back. Square the hips as much as you can, butt creases back, and then up and into that pyramid shape, lift up, feel as you go back, you can draw your belly in and press your hip bones back. Excellent, and one more time. So forward, down, and back. 
and then up into the pyramid shape. Nice. Excellent. And then back knee down. And then you'll come and turn over and lay on your back. So however you get there, swizzle yourself around, lay on your back. Just give your knees a little squeeze into your chest and make little circles with your knees. So you just go one way and then the other way. I'm going to make a figure four shape. So I'm going to get Ash to put her right foot on the floor for me and cross her left ankle over the top of the right knee. So I want your ankle on knee and you want to put a bit of pressure on pushing the ankle down. And then you've got two options from there. You reach through the gap and grab the back of your right hamstring or if you've got a bit more range of movement, you grab the front of the shin and you pull that in. But again, rather than just being completely still on the spot, I'm going to get Ash to roll from side to side a little bit. It doesn't have to be much. And this works standing up nicely as well. So the same shape standing up and just rock your hips from side to side. So instead of being in that static shape, you're moving a little bit. You get a bit of range. Now this stretch is a little bit awkward and can feel a bit, mm, a bit weird in some bodies. So you're going to put your right foot on the floor. Cool, and then you're gonna take your left foot, so the foot that's on top, over to the right and put it on the ground. So you sort of roll over halfway. And then the knee that's in the air, you're gonna press it away from your body. And you'll just get this subtle stretch up through the side here. And when you take your arms out wide then, you just find this extra space in your belly. It's unusual, but it feels really, really nice in your body. And we'll just take a couple of breaths there. Nice, and come back up into center and we'll change over legs there. So cross the ankle over. I recommend that you stretch. If you have 15 minutes in your day, every day wouldn't be a bad thing at all. Yeah, every day to stretch. But, uh, you know, at least three to four times a week, at least three or four times a week. Just try it on for a couple of weeks and notice how different your body starts to feel. Like it will feel different, um, particularly when we're, you know, in this different phase at the moment where most of us are working at home in, and not in the most ergonomic situations. Uh, we were all just commenting or Ash and I were commenting on how, uh, you know, at the kitchen bench, you know, sharing dining room tables, all those sorts of things. And I know we're working that way in my house as well and doing a lot more walking as well which has been wonderful I am enjoying that <laughs> nice and pushing the knee away remember so you get that little bit more nice one and then come back up into the center give your knees a bit of a squeeze into your chest again Nice, and we're going to come to a standing position to finish off, yeah? So as you feel ready, just rock yourself up, stand yourself up. Now, I do want you to have a towel for this next one. Ash is going to use the strap from the yoga, and you're going to hold the towel above your head. Uh, just a hand towel will work, and you're going to pull on it. Imagine you're trying to pull it apart, yeah? And you'll start to feel stretch, but you'll feel some power build up in your lats as well. So you're just going to get stability, first of all. Bend your knees a little. And then you take a little side bend. So you decide which way you want to go first. But keep pulling on whatever you're holding. Yeah, pull on it and take a side bend. Good. And then over to the other side again. Nice. Now the big one. You're going to make giant circles. Bend your knees a little. Keep your belly in. Keep pulling on whatever you're holding and big circles all the way down, all the way up and around. You'll do three in each direction. Yeah, good. So you're gonna go the other way. Keep pulling on it, feel the length in the side body, your shoulders doing a little bit of work, you know, pulling things apart uh, or pushing things together. Just a different kind of movement pattern for our bodies. Cool, and then just release that down. Excellent. Try these stretches, yeah? Fitness first at home. If you want to send us a little message and let us know how you're progressing with them or how often you're doing them uh, and what results you're getting, I would love to hear your feedback. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.